Welcome, welcome. I'm Tom Sinclair. This is Streaming Idiots. This is a special Tuesday evening edition of Streaming Idiots on May 23rd, 2017. If you're watching us live, yes, you didn't turn in, tune in a day early for nothing. We are actually here and streaming live. And a quick word of welcome to those of you watching on Facebook or watching on YouTube directly. We'd love to have you come over and join in on the chat. So if you will go to, uh, where is my lower third here? There it is. If you will go into easternshorebroadcasting.com and click the Watch Live tab, you'll go straight to the, the live show and have the chat. We've got uh, three or four dozen folks in chat right now, and they're having a ball uh, talking about who knows what. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's a good group of folks to hang out with. I am so excited. I am excited and delighted, as they say, to have a very special guest in the studio with me today. Of course, he's not really here here. But courtesy of this amazing new feature in vMix 19 called vMix Call, the creator, the inventor, the conceiver of vMix Call is on the call with us today. Martin Sinclair, the founder and CEO of vMix. We got him warming up in the bullpen, as it were, right now. So we're going to bring him in in just a second. But before we do, we've got to do a, a, a little bit of quick business. So sit tight with me just a second. We'll get Martin in here. Number one, don't forget, coming up in June, June 8th through 11th, is StreamCon, the very first ever StreamCon. It's a live streaming conference in Atlanta, Georgia, June 8th through 11th. And the sponsors of StreamCon have decided to do away with the registration fee. So if you can get yourself to Atlanta, Georgia, you can go to StreamCon for free. Heck, you can bunk in with me if you want. Um, I've got 14 other folks, but there I think there's room for a 15th in there in my room too. Anyway, just just teasing on that. But, but sit, check it out. See if you can't be there. Martin Sinclair is going to be there. Um, there are a bunch of folks that are going to be there to talk about live streaming, do presentations, show off equipment. Um, it's not going to be like a NAB thing where there are you know, 70,000 of your closest friends there. It's, it's going to be a little bit more intimate and a, and a ton of fun, something that you will, um, I bet you will want to mark on your calendar to make sure you do every year. And that's, that's StreamCon. You can get information at streamcon.net, streamcon.net. And you can find out more how to register and who the speakers are. I think they're actually going to let me speak this time. They may regret that, but we'll see. Uh, also coming up um, next week, next week on Streaming Idiots. Um, I'm going to be on vacation, but uh, and I may regret that too. <laughs> but I've got the guys from World of Life Streaming led by Giles that are going to take over the Streaming Idiots show next Wednesday. So you won't want to miss that. The last, well, you'll have to go back into the YouTube archives and see what happened the last time they did that. It was, uh, what shall we say? Uh, they, they locked me up is what they did. They locked me up and it was, it was a virtual, it, it was virtually a nightmare. <laughs> go back and see and tune in next week for sure. Okay, let's see if we, oh, and last word, if you're watching on YouTube after the fact, not, not directly, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe right now, get it over with. And that way you'll get a notice of whenever we go live or whenever we post a new video. And you can keep up with the latest, uh, with uh, what's going on in the, in the great, wonderful, crazy world of, of live streaming. Um, that's what we're bringing to the table. Now, I got to tell you a quick backstory on, on the developer of vMix. Um, it's a really short story. <laughs> he, he and I share the same last name. <laughs> and I think that's one of those things that... Uh, probably, you know, made me somehow on Martin Sinclair's radar. So let me bring Martin in. Martin, I'm so delighted to have you here on the show. Martin is coming to us live from an undisclosed location in the southern part of the United States. You can tell by his tan, though, he's probably in, in Florida somewhere. Martin, welcome to the show. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Tom, for having me. It's great to be back on your show. I think the last time was too long ago, so great to be back. Yeah, well, but you and I have had a chance to hang out lately. We, we hung out together in Las Vegas, and that was so cool to hang out. I mean, la last year when I went to NAB, I was a newbie 
And, and NAV was, was hugely intimidating. And there were you know, just all these thousands of people in thousands of booths. So I basically hung out at the VMIX booth and the Magewell booth and the PTC Optics booth. And then I just sort of saw stuff that was in between that. But this year, thank you very much, I got an invitation to hang out with you guys officially the whole time. Probably drove you all crazy, uh, you and, and Tim and Kimberly and Seth, but it was, it was just a stellar experience. Um, you, you don't have to say, yeah, it's really, you, know, you don't have to tell me that, you know, Tom, you didn't drive me crazy. It's real. It's really okay. You know, people understand that, uh, you know, when you're around the streaming idiot, yeah, sooner or later, he's going to get on your nerves. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, I was going to say this show's called Streaming Idiots, but you weren't an idiot at NAB. You're a great help to us. And we hope to have you, you know, back next year. And oh, we'll invite you again that. for sure. Look at that. You, you know, folks, that, you know, the, the, when, when we finish the show, he's going to say, okay, Tom, now let me tell you what I really want. <laughs> well, thank you. That's good. I'd, I'd, I'd love to do it. I'll, I'll accept. And you, you, and you can retract that invitation if you change your mind later. <laughs> well, talking about N NAB, you know, we've had some time to kind of decompress a little bit. Um, that was such an intense experience. And I mean, I can't imagine what it was like from you guys because y'all were there a week before I even got there. But, um, you know, it, 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 the whole idea of, of meeting all those folks and talking about vMix and, and dealing with every question that came about, you know, now that some of that, the, the press has, has, has pulled back and, you know, you and I are, are a little alike. I think we were talking about this in pre-show is that we kind of need our, our personal time, our personal space. That's where we get our energy a lot of times. And NAB doesn't allow for something like that. Um, you just, you know, everybody, everybody's got a, got a question. But now that you've had a chance to reflect back on NAB, how, you know, what, what did you like about what, you know, thinking about what vMix was doing, I mean, obviously led by you and, and Tim, well, you know, what, what did you guys do this year that you were really happy about uh, in the booth and the presentation? You know, what would you do differently if you could next year? Yeah, so NAB show is always a whirlwind. It's, we start planning it, you know, November, the year before. So NAB is like a six month, five month long event for us. So when the week actually happens, we're already, you know, we're already uh, energized at a, a million miles an hour. And then we do the four days, lots of people we get to meet and then, you know, <laughs> try to recover from that six month, you know, marathon that we put ourselves on um, afterwards. And so I'm still sort of recovering a little bit. So I haven't, I haven't thought too much about it other than I thought it was a great success. We got to meet a lot of interesting new people, got to meet some familiar faces. Uh, I think it was great this year that we just focused our booth on having six demo stations and to be able to talk to customers and demo features as needed. We had a stage last year that occupied all of my time, so I didn't even get to meet a lot of customers. So that was great. Uh, you know, the Teradek live show, as always, uh, went off without a hitch powered by vMix and one of the uh, streaming gear PCs, thanks to Tom. So, so that went well as well. And, you know, um, some of the highlights of the show, I don't know, I didn't get to meet a lot of other booths, but <laughs> I, was, I was really amazed. The one thing I was amazed just in a booth level is if, if anybody didn't get a chance to see it, hopefully they'll have it next year, but it was the Atomos booth. So Atomos is an Australian company also, and they just go crazy. They're the, <laughs> with, they have two booths on either side of a hall and they turned an entire booth into like a village. Um, you know, it was just like, a, it was a mini town. Um, I think they called it Atomos City. So <laughs> that was that was absolutely um, amazing to see, see what they're putting together as a fellow Australian company. Um, but yeah, I just, it was great to meet people in the booth. It was great to have you help out. It was great to have that sort of ad hoc show on the Wednesday that you put together. Uh, we, we sort of just put that together at the last minute and it seemed to work out pretty well. Gave people a, sort of an inside view of what was happening at the NAB show. Um, those that can't make it all the way out to Las Vegas, people all the way to the other side of the world could, could just take a glimpse at the mayhem that is NAB. And, um, and it's just, it's, it's sort of a little bit stressful to think we'll be in full planning mode again in just a few months. 
Um, but it's, a, it's an amazing event. You have to be there to believe it. Um, and, you know, uh, it was great to have you there, Tom, and we'll see what happens next year. Well, I've, you know, you talk about next year. I've got some thoughts about next year. I think, I think you guys need to capitalize on your heritage, to capitalize on, on your nationality. And I think you need to bring a Land Rover, the VMIX <laughs> Land Rover uh, that has a trailer full of bananas and, and let that be the focus point of the whole booth. And then we kind of, you, you know, you can build monitors into the side of the Land Rover and have one pop up out of the top of the Land Rover that show off the VMIX features. Yeah, there's some Well, to capitalize on nationality, it would have to be a Holden Ute full of bananas and pineapples, which are a native fruit of my state, Queensland. Uh, Whew, you know, put a couple of kangaroos in there, a couple of quokkas, a couple of wallabies, uh, a couple of koalas, and I think we might have a <laughs> a farm going on. Can you bring booth. live animals to NAB? Are they have rules <laughs> against that? Well, Tim was suggesting we should have like a petting zoo or something. I was like, that's you know, there's two <laughs> things they t they teach you in show business: never work with animals or small children. So I I think we'll have to <laughs> not have a petting zoo next year. No petting zoos. Okay, they'll have to all be stuffed. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, Tommy is saying that uh, a Land Rover with Dave dressed as a banana wasn't it? Wasn't that very cool to have Dave sort of pop in in, in his uh, Dan Dan Sinclair suit? Uh, who would have thought? She whiz. to have for those of you that that, that missed it, uh, Dave Edwards, one of the frequent viewers here, showed up at NAB in a banana costume. And, and came on out to the VMIX booth to, uh, to announce his presence and cheer everybody on. It was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. In his defense, we did say that we were going to give a free license to anybody that showed up in a banana suit. So it just goes to show how keen some people are to get a free VMIX license. <laughs> uh, yeah, I thought that was great. Congratulations, Dave. Way to go, guy. Way to go, guy. All right, so 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 enough of NAB. We won't talk about NAB anymore because because you you're on NAB vacation, right? NAB vacation. That's right. So let, let's talk about StreamCon and, and Infocom and NAB uh, New York and IBC. How in the world do you just do it? Just going from from you know show to show to show to show where everybody wants a piece of you. When when do you have time to? Uh, to kind of retreat and, and recover and, and let the batteries recharge and, and, you know, have new ideas just start, you know, popping up. Is that, that's the time you're on now, I guess, eh? In, in, in this undisclosed location. Yeah. The month of May each year seems to be the, uh, <laughs> try to relax and, uh, uh, have a bit of a think about what's next. Um, but, but yeah, so here in Florida, it's going to be nice. And then, of course, right into a couple of big events in June coming up. That's right. StreamCon in Atlanta and Infocom in Orlando. And, uh, oh, what was it? There was a question that was right on the tip of my tongue, and it just fell right off into my lemonade. So I'll have to have to work hard to get that one back. Oh, oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. And I, I'm surprised nobody in the chat room has mentioned this yet. But um, um, we're, we are using today, we're using VMix 19 for this production. And I've actually, I'm, I'm producing VMix 19, I mean, producing Streaming Idiots today on the, the PC that's attached to this camera. And I'm also using NDI to send the output from this machine to a laptop to stream and record. And, it, and the, it's one of those AC... Uh, Asus uh, ROG laptops like you like you have, and it does a wonderful job. Um, but that was VMix nineteen. <laughs> it's that time of the show again, <laughs> where Tom Tom tries to interrogate Martin and get some answers about the next VMix. So uh, give it what? your best shot. All right, well, Tim said you guys are just going to skip 20 altogether and go straight to 21 because everybody gets carded up until they get to 21. And so you're tired of getting everybody carded on VMIX 19, 17, 15. You're going to go straight to 21 and just do away with VMIX 20. 
But no, no, you know, t two zero, dos equis, you know, there are all sorts of possibilities there. Um, you know, there were somebody said the VMix 20 needs to make coffee, but if it was sort of a dos equis, you know, you could kind of play on the beer theme and, uh, and come out with some sort of virtual bottle opener or, um, you know, a, 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 come on, Martin, bail me out here. I'm, I'm, I'm floundering. <laughs> Well, well, if people have a look at our previous releases, they'll see a pattern. The odd-numbered releases have a major new feature, and they usually coincide around NAB. The even features have some features as well, but they're not necessarily ones you, you have giant banners to promote, but they help customers out, making their productions a little bit easier to use. For example, we did vMix Call this year in vMix 19, and of course, that got everybody's attention. This is something everybody needs and it was a big deal. Uh, in vMix 18 last year, we had some features that were actually quite important but aren't as exciting necessarily. Uh, data sources, for example. So many people are using data sources now, particularly in sports games, to get data into their scoreboards and, and, and things like that. And we also added activators. And that was a way to people light up their MIDI controllers and things like that. So certainly not um, uh, unexciting features, but they're not the same as, say, vMix Core. Um, and then vMix 17, of course, is when we announced NDI support and all that goes along with that PTZ control and other big feature ticket items. So vMix 20, what are you going to expect? Well, it's not going to be an amazing, groundbreaking new feature that's going to blow everybody's socks off because vMix Core was that feature this year. But it's going to have some important features that are going to help people make their lives easier and make their productions more efficient. Um, and we hope to have some news about what that might be just before IBC. That's our current plan to release the beta for that. Got it. Got it. So IBC, <laughs> that's September. So we're looking at a beta in September, and we're looking at some features that are not mind-blowing features, but really based on folks that have gone to vMix, the vMix forum, and gone to the feature request section of the vMix forum, and have requested something, and then everybody else has said, yeah, that's a great idea, let's do that. Let's have Dos Equis, you know, with a bottle opener in it. And so it garners a lot of groundswell of support and you're paying attention to that? Yeah, I can say that the features are going to help people out uh, a lot in the productions. Um, but they're not going to, they're going to make things easier for people. So not necessarily new features, but improvements to what are already there to make people's lives easier. Um, can't really say much more than that, but uh, I hope that I hope people can look back to our updates and, and get a sort of an idea of how we build these these features and what to expect. Anyway, hopefully. Okay, so or I've been totally cryptic and everybody is even more confused <laughs> than they were in the past. And if so, that was totally my plan all along. <laughs> all right. Well, let me let me try to pin you down. I'm gonna try. Oh, I gotta try one more time to pin him down. I gotta try. Here, here's the question. If I were to go, if I were to go to the vMix forum, which by the way is forums plural forums.vmix.com, and go to the feature request section, and if I were to read all of the feature requests that have been written in the last twelve months, might I find a feature in the feature request section of features that were re requested in the last twelve months that might show up in vMix twenty? Uh, if I were to look at my crystal ball, the answer is all signs point to yes. Yay! All right. All right. So if you at home are interested in knowing what's going to happen in vMix 20, go read the feature request section of all the feature requests since NAB last year, and you'll be ready for whatever it is. I love it. Okay. See, that's the idea is we, is we all, we're, it's kind of like the Kentucky Derby here in the U.S., the big horse race. You know, everybody's picking their horses and they're trying to figure out what the odds are and, and they know who their jockeys are and they, get, they know who the colors are. And so they're, they're rooting for their feature request. <sighs> so maybe we ought to have, oh, and the other thing that we do, I don't know if you guys follow uh, American college basketball in Australia. 
Um, but we have this thing in, in, in March called the NCAA tournament and this other thing called March Madness. And they, they, they have 65 teams in the tournament. And, and so everybody fills out their tournament prediction of who's going to win which games all the way through and then who's going to be p matched up in the finals and then who's going to ultimately win it. So we ought to have a betting pool on the new features in vMix 20. And it'd be based on whatever's in the, the, the uh, forum under the feature request. I love it. I love it. Okay. I am going to... Uh, Could I'm call it September Madness, I guess. Yeah. September Madness. Dos Equis Madness. Yes. I love it. So I will, uh, I'm going to set this up, and I'm going to kick in a vMix uh, HD license for the winner of, of uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so this is going to have multiple features, not just one big feature. So it might be tough to pick a winner. Anyway, well, we'll I'll look back at 18 and 16 and see if I can't figure out, you know, a way if there's sort of a feature that was sort of bigger than the others, but not the big VMix call or NDI feature. Okay. All right. Well, I, I've bugged you enough on the VMix 20. You've been very gracious as usual. I'll just say though, is a sort of a, a reason why I'm being very cryptic and um, I'm not intentionally trying to, to uh, upset anybody about the features. He what we've done know. internally is we've put to We've put together actually a draft list of features internally, but we can't say what they are until I've actually done the coding and I've gone, yes, I can actually do this. Uh, because there's nothing more frustrating than for a company to announce a feature and then just to never release it. So oh, yeah. we will announce it once we know it's definitely going to work. So that's why I'm being a bit cryptic. We need to know it's actually going to work and it's going to work reliably. And then a we can bit say, cryptic? Yes, I'm not getting anything it. from you. You're not a bit cryptic. You're <laughs> totally cryptic. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm just giving you a hard time. All right. All right. Yeah, we see we're getting, we're getting lots of requests in the chat room right now. Everybody wants, everybody wants vMix HD to have like 19 callers. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> which is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right. All right. So, um, so you've got, uh, you've got uh, StreamCon coming up next month and then InfoCon after that. And then, um, then you're over to, then, then you're back home. And then you're in you're in Europe for IBC, and then you're back home, and then you're into New York for stream uh, for NAB New York, and then you're back home again. Boy, that's a lot of flying. You must have like a billion frequent flyer miles. Um, holy cow! Yep, I sure, I sure do actually, and I, I never have any time to spend them. So you know, maybe one of these days. You could just you could just take a year off. And, and you could just skip from vMix 22 to vMix 25 and just, you know, let, let Kimberly write the other ones. That would, that would be great. For those of you that don't know, uh, Martin's sister, Kimberly, works with, with vMix and in the support section and was there at NAB. And, of course, is the best looking of all the, the, the vMix people, uh, Martin and Tim and all that crowd. And is very gracious, as is her brother, and, and, and warm and welcoming. So if you get a chance to go to NAB next year, you'll want to, uh, to make sure you introduce yourself to Kimberly. Uh, will, will Kimberly and Tim be at IBC or at uh, the uh, NAB New York? So Tim will be at uh, IBC. Tim and myself mm -hmm. will be there, hopefully with somebody else uh, to help us out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then for NAB Show New York, that'll be Tim and possibly myself. Um, uh, okay. uh, we'll see. I hope to be there for NAB Show New York as well. But Tim will be at both for sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, and I mean, by that point, you'll have the, the uh, beta to vMix 20 already out and in the wild and have lots of people playing around with it. So that'll be, that'll be fun. That's cool. All right, let's see how we're doing on time. We're doing on time. I promised you 30 minutes and we're, we're just, we, st we started a few minutes late, but we're, we are about out of time. Um, anything you want to share off the cuff? Um, I can't think of a good question to ask other than just to sort of say, okay, Martin, <laughs> take it away. Let's talk about something else. Uh, when you're not when you're not coding and talking about vMix, 
Um, what's, what's your favorite movie? Oh, favorite movie. Wow. Okay. Uh, Back to the Future is, is always ah, a great, I, I love time travel movies. Classic. So Back to the Future is a good one. Um, and I haven't seen a good movie lately though, but that's, that's probably more of, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I have, I've got a lot of movies to catch up on maybe when I get some more free time, but yeah. You know, they had a TV series um, this year in the, in the States on time travel. Um, I don't know. Yeah, they have quite a few actually, so that was exciting. But um, uh, I've forgotten, <laughs> forgotten all the names at the top of my head. Um, but was yeah, it timeless. Uh, oh, there's this it? new. Uh, uh, oh, that's that's one of them as well. Paul's talking about yeah. There's a new Blade Runner movie. Um, not necessarily time travel, but that's sci-fi. That's well and truly in my um, uh, neck of the woods. They're making a re sort of a. I think it's a sequel actually. Harrison Ford's coming back for that, so that's, oh, wow. that's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sure there are a million movies I could talk to you about. It's just for some reason I'm, I'm drawing a blank, but yeah, <laughs> back to the future is probably my, uh -huh. one of my all time favorite films. Okay. Do you play any musical instruments? Uh, yeah, I used to a long time ago. Um, so used to play the drums, then learned bass, um, keyboard. I think that's, that's it. Yeah. Back. Back when I was involved in the music team back in the church. Uh-huh. And you sing? <laughs> no, I don't sing. That's one thing I don't do. <laughs> he, he dodged a bullet right there, folks, because he knew the next question after <laughs> that was, uh, oh, well, sing something for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That's terrible. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, we're going to go, close up and go to post-show. If you've got some questions for Martin... Uh, go ahead. If you've been asking them all along, go ahead and bring them back up into the top of the of the uh, forum, and we will uh, we'll address the ones that are appropriate. We may not address all of them, but Martin, thank you so much for for taking time out today and and coming on the show and uh, and letting me annoy you like this. You're you're so very gracious and kind, and we really appreciate all that you do to make this great world of streaming much much better. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. It's been fun, and we'll see you and everybody else at StreamCon, hopefully, in a few weeks' time. And we will. We will. Okay, Martin's going to hang around, and uh, we are going to have him. I can't hear you, Tom. You know what? I think I muted the wrong person. I was supposed to be muting Martin. <laughs> And I muted myself. <laughs> oh, golly. We'll just edit this part out. Don't pay any attention to the idiot in front of the, the, the green screen, you know. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, anyway. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching us on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe. Oh, by the way, Eastern Shore Broadcasting is a for-profit company um, when, we're not, when we're not cutting up and acting fool. Um, we are, we are vMix uh, reseller. We also resell uh, the PTZ Optics brand of cameras and the uh, the Magwell capture cards, uh, the X keys. We love we love the X keys, and um, we also uh, design and build custom PCs for streaming as well as uh, we have an off the shelf brand called Live Streaming Gear that we actually we, we furnish to the folks at uh, at Teradek and at at vMix for this the uh, NAB show. So if you're thinking about something like that, uh, just give me a call. You, know, you can get the phone number at easternshorebroadcasting.com. If you are interested in knowing more about vMix, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to chat with you about that. If you already know about vMix and you'd like to buy vMix, we sell it so we can do that. And if you're in, you're in one of those situations where you're like, golly, you know, I think live streaming is great, but I really don't know a whole lot about it. Would you teach me? Yes, I just finished a two-day training session with some folks uh, today, and I was up in North Carolina doing some, some training with a big company uh, last week. So, yes, I'd be delighted to help you learn how to do vMix. It's a ton of fun, and, uh, and, and it's pretty exciting. It's good stuff. So all of that you can get more information on at easternshorebroadcasting.com. And that's it for the, for the announcement, I mean, for the advertising. Next week, Giles is going to be running the show, so you want to make sure you tune in. That's Wednesday 
at um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time and whatever appropriate time that would be around the west, the rest of the world at StreamingIdiots.com. I'm Tom Sinclair, the head of the Streaming Idiot Band. Oh, yes, and if you're watching us on YouTube, excuse me, on Facebook, or if you like Facebook and you want to follow us, go to Facebook. Uh, I think it's actually down here somewhere. Facebook.com slash group slash Streaming Idiots, and you can be a Streaming Idiot too. Yeah, that talked you out of it, didn't it? Yeah, I bet it would be too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in, tune in again uh, sometime when we're live, and we'll we'll love to have. If you're watching live now, stick around. We'll be uh, we'll be back with uh, with the post show in just a second. And I thought I was muting Mark. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. Ha, ha, ha.